been, I know you the whole week kind of harped on some turnovers you had last year, and now to force 24 yourself. I mean, how happy are you with that defensive effort? Uh, I mean, that, that was a great game. It was it was tough and tight from the beginning, and it was a um, it, it was a, a top twenty kind of game, you know. And um, we knew that it was going to be decided by two, three points, four points at most. We knew that, um, and so it, it was a matter of whichever team made the fewest mistakes uh, was going to be the team that was going to win. Uh, you know, it was almost like you know, like going into a boxing match and you sort of throw a punch, they throw a punch back, and then you threw a couple jabs and. So you exchange for a while, and then um, I think that our team did a great job of being disciplined, focused on, and they knew what they were looking for. A hit, they recognized whether or not they needed to drive or pass it to the inside or whatever. But I thought that it was a well-played game on both parts, and Georgia did a great job as well. How important was it for your team uh, to be able to weather the storm of comeback? The guys were up at ten at some point, and then it started going back and forth in the second half. I think what's most important is that our team needs to be and had has been resilient, you know, focused. They weren't going to give up. Uh, you saw someone like Benaja get a body cramp, uh, and so she had to come out, but she was just trying to, you know, get massage so that she could come back. You saw Kai Kalia Copper in a couple of day, a couple of games ago, you know, take some real bad falls. Um, but they've both been warriors. Um, and, and then, of course, uh, Essie um, is probably – along with Benaj, are probably the most flexible of, of the athletes in terms of playing a number of positions. So each, each person was willing to do whatever they needed to do in order, order for this team to, to win. And I think that um, all teams will tend to go in a survival mode when, mode when you begin to lose or you begin to lose the momentum, which began to happen to us. And, and we forgot for a second how we got there, and we, we get there with you know, a great deal of teamwork, us focusing and hearing that, that voice that's, that's your, uh, from your teammate that's calling for the ball. I don't know if you recognize that, that shot. I thought Devonizer was going to take it. She was right, right up near the rim, and she kicked it out to, to Kalia. Um, I mean, it was incredible. But that's the way they've been playing all year, the entire team. Uh, and for a period of time, we sort of lost that. So it was nice. You know, hope, hopefully, they'll remember um, what it takes uh, what it takes to win. I was real proud, real proud of the team. I think you forced three turnovers yourself in the first four minutes there, and I think you guys forced seven in the first four minutes total. I mean, what were you trying to do initially to, to kind of bother them? Um, defense is, is like one of my main things. That's like one of the things that I'm that I do best, and that's what I do. So to kill their momentum and put ours up, why not do what I do best and stop them from scoring? Well, with the second top twenty-five team you guys have played this year, what's it do from a resume building standpoint to win like? What does it do for us? Yeah. Well, I think it, it helps us with our, our confidence, and we intend to get, you know, just 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 to build on that. Um, you know, now we're now we're going to be playing our conference, so I think that it was important that we won. It was important that we played as we did, um, and that's all we can do is just to continue to get better. Yeah, I was going to ask the players first. Such a young team like you guys, what does it open like this do for your confidence? I mean, uh, um, it definitely um, makes us way more confident than we've been. But um, this, it just makes us want to go hard, and we know how we can play, and we just got to maintain the way we've been playing and just get better. For anyone that wants to answer, just that last possession there, uh, I think uh, Georgia Coach said they were trying to get something different than end it up. What were you trying to do to defend and make sure they didn't do, get a good look? Um, we knew that they were going to go long. We just didn't know where it was coming from. So as Coach always says, when we see the arm cock back, we know it's going long. So as it cock back, Kalia call go long. And I just tracked it like I was a cornerback or something. And I tried my best. I didn't want to try, but so I tried to pass it, but it wasn't a good pass. And we still come out with the W, so that's all that matters. Did you think you were falling out of bounds? Or? No, I was I was going to fall, like, and it would have been a travel. So I, was, I didn't want to travel, so I tried to pass on the catch, and it wasn't a good pass. But... I tried. <laughs> you had a double-double. What made you effective? Does it extend that far? 
Yeah, I just, I mean, I knew what this win would mean to our team, so I just tried to go out and do whatever it was that I had to to make sure that we won, whether it was rebounding, scoring, passing, anything that I could do to help us, that's what <coughs> I did. For any of you guys, was this game sort of on your schedule, something you were looking forward to because it was a ranked team and you had the game last year down there that was – tight that they came away with it was sort of more than a normal game? Um, I mean, we really, we look forward to every game. We just, we don't try and look too far ahead. We try and stay on track, take each game a step at a time. And I mean, when it came up, yes, it was something we were really looking forward to because when we lost to them last year and we just wanted to get that win and then we're at home, about to go home for Christmas. I didn't want to be mad for Christmas. I know my teammates didn't want to be mad for Christmas and our coaches. So that was just our, our main focus. Questions? Coach, you you had said at the LSU game that you were surprised if your team sort of was like a deer in the headlights playing a top 20 team at LSU and the Berkeley Center, but today you seem more focused and ready to play against a, a ranked opponent. I, I thought that we, you know, I don't think that we played nervous or scared at LSU. I didn't think that we played very smart. You know, I, we knew, we knew what they were doing, but I think we tried to help each other too much. And when you try to help, then we needed to all be on the same page. In, in other words, if we knew where each person needed to be in a given situation, in particular, it was on the defensive side of it, okay? And we began to try to compensate for it, which is what we tried to do today in terms of the offense, which is why we called the timeout and to address that. They just need no, nothing extra, just let it flow. Talk to each other, play the game the way they see it. Um, and, and that's basically what happened on the defensive side with LSU because like I said, I mean, I just know that we could play much better. And we try to compensate without realizing that, wait a minute, you didn't have to worry about that play. That was going to be picked up by, by the dust and so person. And that has everything to do with the confidence level that, that we have. So this was a game where I thought that the team was able to focus, come back um, through all the, the tiredness that they may have had or, or the cramps or whatever to hang in there, to know that, that we're capable of, of taking this game on. So like Kalia said, I think it was major for us to, um, to win um, because this is a new team. This is a new style of play. We like the style, the way that we're playing. We like the way that we're working, and we like the way the team is coming together. So it's, it's really great to be rewarded by, by having a win. And as we get ready to go home for Christmas, of course you have a little bit more of a smile, and you're looking forward to the, to the conference part of the season. You, I think you were the one, didn't you ask me whether or not you felt that we were capable of winning because I had thrown easy games out there? Mm. I, I said you, you had a different schedule this year because usually you had gotten No, I had, we, we did have a different yeah. schedule, but you, you, I think you, you commented something like, you know, do you really think that they're capable of playing at the top 20 level because we got cupcakes? Something to that effect. So I'm just going to say to you, remember I, I was saying to you that we needed to have our confidence. Yeah. And this is a young Coconut. group. So it, it, this was a major game because we needed to, to find out how well we are going to play at that level. But I thought that um, we were able to see into the future and base the ball on the way we saw them play against the teams that we have. Because the comment that I was making to you is that most teams play down to the competition. This team has learned one major issue, one major point, and that is that they tend to play despite and irrespective of who's in front of them, which hasn't been the case. I've always been upset about that because most of the time we'll play down, and, 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 and as a result, you kind of lose games that you shouldn't. Um, but th they learned that lesson, and we did feel that we were capable of, um, of really stepping up. But I think that maybe it wasn't you, but someone recognized that we didn't play as tough a, s a schedule as we have always done. <coughs> Any other questions? Thank you, ladies. You have Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs>